Mindark official Denis made a post in the developer notes number 20 since I uploaded my video yesterday. This post clarifies some things and provides an update on the grace period that has been extended to approximately one year now. This was the most important part of the entire forum post for me, so I thought I'd mention it right at the start here for those of you only interested in this bit of info. One year transition before the loss of any potential rewards from the old system is certainly a lot better than one month. Of course, it is not enough for many of us to complete all our outstanding missions. However, I can live with this, as it at least provides enough time for me to finish the shorter missions and ones where I've made the most progress, or alternatively, ones with rewards that I want the most. As mentioned in my first video on this topic though, I will not be rushing any missions anyway. I will just prioritize what I focus on when I do go hunt. Anyway, I am going to read out Dennis's entire post for you now. So this is what the post says. Thank you for all the feedback. We have read all the posts and will answer as many as possible. We value this a lot as we are trying to do something better. This is one of the reasons we wanted to post this as soon as possible. First I will explain the system that will hopefully clarify some of your concerns. This system doesn't replace the existing quest slash mission system. Its purpose is to have the missions now known as hunting iron missions in one place where most if not all creatures could be unlocked in a creature knowledge database. Also to serve as a bestiary where additional information about them can be unlocked and a system that we can build upon. There are also several other reasons why we are doing this. The existing system is quite taxing on the servers and when designed was not intended to be used this way where many players have lots of iron missions at the same time. The existing iron missions today have many manual steps when it comes to create, edit and maintain. That results in tough decisions when players ask for more of them or changes, even accidentally removing them was hard to resolve. Players were forced to find the missions before hunting, so they didn't feel that they lost progression. This will no longer be necessary with the new systems, as the mission of the creature will be added automatically if you participate in the kill. We want players to be able to play together and get rewarded for all the activity that they do. We want to create more interesting missions instead of relying on the ion missions for activity. A system that can reward players retroactively depending on the progress if we so choose. And now on to Dennis's answers to the most prevalent concerns and questions expressed by other participants in this thread. The first concern addressed is that this is also extremely bad for new player retention. And Dennis answers, we think that new players will be given goals to complete as iron missions unlock as they progress in their adventure in Entropia universe. The next concern is that grace periods should be letting people finish missions that are undergoing. And Dennis answers, we in the management have read the feedback and we will extend the grace period to approximately one year. It is better to admit when in fault, this is one of those times and we have therefore reconsidered. Another participant wrote, I'm interested in scanning part. Shooting and healing is returned in loot so I get it, but scanning is not right now. Do they plan to start including scan and decay in loot returned? That would be something for people trying to up their looter levels. And to this Dennis says, our plan is to add knowledge progression for anything 
you do towards the target that decays. Another commenter that Dennis responds to said, You really need to find a way to transfer progress from current missions to the new system. This is unacceptable. And Dennis explains, As the systems are not compatible, this is not possible. They will also have more ranks slash steps than the previous Iron Mission chain. As the rewards are different too, where you can choose from a larger selection of skills, we feel that it is better for everyone. The next remark Dennis reacts to is They post this on a Saturday and no one here to respond. What the F? I guess Dennis answered this concern to introduce some extra cheese into his post. Anyway, he says, Most of us are on vacation right now, including me. But we didn't want to wait. Hopefully we can answer most of your questions. The next question is quite interesting, although the same cannot be said about the answer. Anyway, the question says, Are attributes going to be issued as mission rewards? And of course the answer is, that is something we are discussing but not ready to share any info as of yet. Okay, next question. Are the new Iron missions going to be repeatable? For example, repeatable last stage? And the answer is yes. The next idea from the thread that Dennis responds to was... Let everybody finish their missions in the old system and then start new one under the new system. Dennis explains why this is not possible. As the new system automatically adds the mission of the creature, if it is eligible as soon as you participate in a kill, it won't be possible to choose when to start it. Another participant posted. Okay. And where is the problem to code a program to transmit all the data to the new system or give the players slash accounts in percent the skills of the not done missions? Computers today have no problem to calculate all this within minutes or less. And uh, Dennis's answer to this is Current mission system is based on kill count slash points where the new is based on the contribution calculations. The last statement Dennis responds to says, In a game where a lot of things are about progressing, losing a progress is totally unacceptable. The Dennis's answer to this seems a bit off and more of a non-answer to me, but anyway, he said, The progression will now be at one place, where you can easily track it and see it. It can also be compared with others and that can also open up for new challenges in the future. And he continues. Thanks again for the feedback and we will keep reading your posts. We will share more information as we get closer to the release. There Dennis's post ends. What do you think about his explanations? Will the one year grace period be enough for you to get your ongoing Iron missions done? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for sticking with me until the end of this video. Please do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.